instruments in this box. Uh, we will use the same box uh, or this one box. First, you should know the classification of instrument. It means that this is a special instrument or general surgical instrument. And it's in a full name. If in name present uh, and described function, of course, it's enough. If uh, necessary, you should explain what is a function or during which one operation we can use it. Here, uh, bone cutting forceps, del green bone cutting forceps. It necessary for section of skull bone and it's alternative instrument if we now have jiggly saw for section of skull. It's usually during osteoplastic deponation. Next. Now it's a mixed of instruments. Okay, step by step. The rib cutter for first rib. Knife for amputations. Here, muscular retractor, retractor for amputations. It's not during amputation, after section of soft tissues by knife, assistant open instrument, put a bone, usually it's a femoral bone, to, this, to the center, central hole, close retractor, and pull up muscular layer, because stump, after surgery, should be soft. That's why bone we are cutting little proximally, then soft tissues. Next. The pious clamp, this one for intestine. We are the present in surgery, pious clamp for stomach, but for stomach, except grooves on internal surface, the present one blunt teeth, uh, one blunt tooth, and here at on opposite side hole. This one intestinal for clamping of intestine, for stomach during stomach resection. Here, forceps for gallbladder. We use it during cholecystectomy, open cholecystectomy. Farabeth's C shape plate hook for dilation of wound. Here, specific scissors with olive, the scissors for enterotomy. It's protect back wall from section. Liston bone cutting forceps for the amputation of small bones, for example bones or phalanx, or for cutting of small fragments, if small fragments sharp and dangerous for surrounding tissues. Abdominal retractor for dilation of abdominal wound. Here, I explain you, let's help me. Vaginal speculum. Here, forceps for prostate gland. Usually it's quadrate shape, forceps for prostate gland. Here, dissector without lock. Dissection, it's a separation of tissues by blunt way, without incisions. Surgical hammer, uh, operations on bones, you will study for last class. That's why, for, except operations on bones, for example, osteotomy. We used studied uh, on previous semester, antrotomy when we need hammer. Heart mirror, elastic heart mirror for checking of backside of the heart during its uh, in of its injury. And it's forcep. We use them generally for some thin layers as fascias, as peritoneum, as pleura. But mainly according to our classification, this is abdominal forcep. That's why primary for peritoneal layers, for peritoneal flaps. Surgical plate saw, intestinal crushing or hard clamp, the hemorrhoidal forceps or forceps for hemorrhoidal knots during hemorrhoidectomy by Milligan Morgan, Palenov's conductor for jiggly saw, there we have hooks and loops for fixation to Palenov's conductor. Here, mechanical dressing forceps or dressing forceps with lock. Except we have semi-automatic dressing forceps. Dressing forceps necessary for fixation of operative dress. Operative dress, it means that dread flaps of dress to close patient uh, body. Mechanical retractor, as abdominal as for chest wound. 
it's held open uh, and uh, fix wound in open position. Additional hooks, the uh, hooks with, with four uh, teeth and blunt edges, hooks with three sharp teeth. Uh, the number could be different, shape, size too, but uh, what you see, the uh, same name you will use, depending on situation, depending on condition, how many it is, and, uh, sharp or blunt. Rectal mirror, or rectal dilator. <coughs> the dissector with lock. Tracheal dilator, for dilation of tracheal wound. Finger hook for tracheostomy, it's for fixation of the larynx during tracheostomy. Gripping pin set for fixation of soft tissues, for fixation of uh, muscles uh, or um, some part of organs. Wow. <laughs> now we have two vascular forceps. Here, vascular forceps, or vascular clamp. Here, double or single bullets forceps. Function, I explain you. Here, metallic casita. Metallic casita for female. Here, wire inside of it, it's called a mandarin. It's necessary just for after manipulation to clean this internal surface from patient tissues. This is not a part of instrument, it's just for post-operative care. Here, Peans forcep cuffed. Peans hemostatic forcep. Except this, we have mosquito hemostatic forcep straight. Mosquito hemostatic forcep cuffed. Bilirose hemostatic forcep straight and bilirose hemostatic forcep cuffed. Here, cohairs hemostatic forcep cuffed and straight. Tan holder, it's necessary for Nipuna. <laughs> Except this, it's necessary for fixation of tan during lensing of retropharyngeal abscess. And in addition to this, mouse dilator for fixation of open mouse. The Kupfer's scissors, the general surgical instrument with blunt edge. It's you made or it was before you? Oh, Modification of blade. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> wow, why a miracle? Why I can't connect? <laughs> the uh, <laughs> handle of scalpel and the bellied scalpel because the blade, special shape of blade, bellied. Here. Types of drills: globular shape and lancet shape drill. Drilling of the skull during uh, different types of trepanation. Here we have. Which one is you, know? you use it a few minutes ago. A gas needle holder. Here, uh, elastic intestinal clamp for resection of intestine. There are one more type of Kupfer's scissors, but cuffed. Forcep for the tail of pancreas. Here, pious, uh, uh, pious clamp for stomach. 
rib cutter for all ribs except first. Louis forceps with single gear, so just one gear, but uh, on the stand you can see with double gear. Uh, double gear is more easy to use because uh, faster we can crush bone. Tracheal metallic cannula. Automatic needle holder for fixation of automatic needles. True. Two instruments uh, for same function the sterilizer forceps. This one is classic sterilizer forceps to take to pick up something from, from sterilizer box. This one, a uh, sterilizer forceps too, but the present alternative name corn tank, like popcorn, corn tank. It's Germany's names. Uh, name. Uh, we use it too for fixation, but mainly for sterile dress from sterilizer box. This one for instrument, this one for dress. Two probes, olive probe, for touching of something small to check wound canal, fistulas, and groove probe. You remember, I hope, our surgery we used for operation. Oh, no, what was our surgery on May? Appendectomy. Appendectomy. Approach you made, or it was before you. Ah, you can't remember your names here, yeah? what we're talking about. Here yeah, we use a scalpel, a sharp blade of scalpel, for sliding along of the groove. And we put it under the flaps of peritoneum or under fascias to protect underlying structures. Microsurgical scissors cuffed. Bone uh, elevator. It's to pick up a uh, bone flap after uh, during osteoplastic deponation. Farabeth's, uh, no, sorry, Doyen's rib rasp. Uh, it's necessary to separate perosteum from backside of the rib during subperosteal resection of the rib. Here, surgical saw. It's for cutting of small bones. Here, one more type of surgical saw, but I can't understand who damaged instruments in my box. Huh? Maybe you know who. No, not enough details. There are one more type for section of the bone. Here, full metallic scalpels. Nowadays, we can't use full metallic, but we use both shapes. The lancet shape and the bellet shape scalpel. Deschamps needle. On seventh class, we will talk about the uh, ligation of vessels in the wound and, and distance. It's necessary to put a thread around of vessel without its wide se separation from surrounding tissues. Ligation. Q wire for uh, osteosynthesis, intramedular osteosynthesis of small bones, for example, bones of fingers and hands. This one? Spatula, but which one? Yeah, it looks like metallic tan, yeah? But neurosurgeons use the same to press dura mater during manipulations into the skull cavity. Rividine abdominal spatula to press down loops of intestine uh, for protection during closure and during suturing of abdominal wound. And for, for orthopedics, two instruments, this one uh, nail, metallic nail for intramedular osteosynthesis. It's for large uh, tube uh, bones, as femoral bone, as ulna bone, and here for combined osteosynthesis. It's just, we use it, this one nail, for combined osteosynthesis in case of fracture of uh, neck of femoral bone. This one sharp, bone, sharp part, with the help of hammer, we press inside of the neck. This one by screw we fixed to the body. Combined osteosynthesis. Indication, fracture of neck of the femoral bone. And here was See, one more trauma after students. <laughs> that was elastic <laughs> catheter for your, for your nerve bladder. That's all.